what's going on. So I'm basically just going to give you a rundown of everything that I do in a day of a flight attendant slash designer. I just came back from New York Fashion Week. Then I had to go to Florida, drop off my designs, and then head straight to Ohio to go to Forbes. Done with that. Now I am back on the line. So when I tell you I'm tired, I feel like ever since I've been waking up every single day, I've been waking up at like 11.30 and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I feel like I needed to catch up on so much rest. Tip, you can't catch up on rest. Someone told me that, I was like, well, I do. <laughs> okay, so there was a few things that I definitely needed to get. Um, I have been struggling. It's been in my everyday comments, in my thought process, to get a new case for my laptop. This was my old one. This looks really crazy. Like, it looks a lot worse in person. It looks like... <laughs> I don't even know. It looks like it went through a lot. And I feel like this is a new reset. If you guys want to know where I got this, I got this on Amazon for $30. It lasted about two to three years. This is so durable. Like, it was really good. Look at everything. I'm saying it's so durable and everything just came off. But it worked out for me. We used it till the wheels ran off. The next thing I needed, I was uploading my content. And I get my content on my phone. And I also get it on my camera. But my sd card i just got it too on amazon i just got it and i used it once and then it broke so i got another sd card a completely different one but hopefully it's gonna be better than the first one that i got because i needed to get one because i was like ah i need to upload my content fast so you guys are gonna see hopefully it'll be uploaded to my channel but you guys are gonna see the new york fashion week behind the scenes both days i was running like crazy but that's actually something that i really do like i love running i love getting work done like even though i say i'm so stressed that's the best peak of my time i'm like oh my god it's a lot but it's in a good way it's a lot so right now i'm just going to post all my content on my google drive and i have to be at the airport at like seven and i'm taking the train and i have to take three trains i'm probably gonna leave here around five so let's get into it probably also going to hit the gym before i go because i know that i have to get some type of workout in i've been trying to prioritize going to the gym so i'm also gonna do that as well so you guys get to see everything also i'm based in new york so i'm in new york a lot and i stay with my aunt right now i'm doing laundry because when i tell you i had to do every single chance i get to do laundry i do it because especially because i'm on an 8a6 so an 8a6 is when you're on standby for six days they can call you within those six days for anything but i've been learning as i go to prioritize bidding so it's like okay you can't call me <laughs> during these times if you don't use me like don't call me at 5 a.m in the morning don't don't do it um <laughs> i was like you can call me at seven so i was like okay here's the deal this is what we can do i'll be at the airport from 7 to 12. i could be 7 p.m to 12 a.m cool if you need me cool but i need to make sure i'm sitting in that chair ready to go you know so i get you know the rest of my day doing the things that i need to do so right now i'm just doing the things that i need to do and i'm just doing laundry and going to the gym i i love these days so much it's the little things that matter honestly because i feel like i could just put my ducks in a row and get everything in order and back together in my life <laughs> got some new laundry dissolved detergent sheets so they're like detergent sheets and they dissolve in the washer i was like auntie why are you the one to to find these crazy things but they work so good i don't know where she got these but 
this is it and it smells so good like it makes your clothes smell amazing so I just want to put you guys on I don't know if this is a lot this is a lot actually this is and they're super thick I'm gonna put like two actually they smell so good oh my god I'm gonna put two in there I'm just gonna put two Am I weird for putting the softener inside the detergent area? I feel like it just takes it more. I don't, I don't know. So before I go to the gym, I am actually going to look through my Instagram and respond back to my audience. I try to engage more. I feel like for the past couple months, I've been turning off my comments because I wanted to put my mental health first, especially doing this job and getting into everything that becoming a flight attendant for the first time has brought me into a new life. So I'm just like, okay, I need to really just get my head together. That's one thing I'm going to do is put my mental health first so I've just been posting trying to keep up with posting and turning off the comments but one thing I did know is I was also like neglecting my audience and if I really want to become a strong leader I feel like I need to involve my audience as much as possible into everything I'm doing and be completely transparent so that is what I'm gonna be doing now your girl is a new changed woman because coming from Forbes I learned so much and gained so much confidence and I do want to tell you guys even more about it but that's gonna be for another video but ugh, honey one thing I will tell you is put your mental health first but gain that confidence back and just put yourself out there I'm gonna definitely remember those tips for myself because I don't want to be a hypocrite and tell you guys one thing and then like be like okay I'm gonna go back and turn off the comments again and you know but yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. Mm, the best feeling is taking your clothes out the dryer and smelling them. Mm, if you guys have a good softener, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Like, oh my gosh, and when you put it on the, when you put it on the bed, and you get in the bed and you just like, it feels so good. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. This is like my favorite blanket ever. <laughs> it's so soft. It's so cute. I love it so much. And I take it everywhere with me. Oh my God. It's so cute. I got my stuff out of the dryer. If you can't already tell. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. These are stuffed together. Oof. Oh, it's getting static. This is my favorite shirt. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. And it's pink. If you're an anime, like me, hi. We're friends now. And don't say, you guys, don't say that Demon Slayer isn't the best anime because that's why I only said Demon Slayer because in my opinion in my opinion it is my favorite anime and like we can talk about that forever i would just want to pack my bag honestly before i head down to the gym because when i head down to the gym i'm going to come back and look at my hair like i'm about to wash my hair below it do the whole shebang oil it everything and i'm gonna try and aim to leave here by five because i need to be at the airport by 7 30. Wait, I also want you guys to see the new purchases. I kind of did some damage. Not kind of, I did damage. I did damage because, yes, your girl got 
a Balenciaga. Like, I saw my girl Sierra Renee wearing this, and she has the pink one. And I like getting bags that kind of match with everything. Like, I'll take a chance on a color, but if it's a black, yes, ma'am. This is, oh my God, I got this from a thrift store in New Jersey. I think it's New Jersey. I'm gonna double check and let you guys know on that. But this this purse is so cute. Oh my god. It is so cute. And it's a runway unique piece. It is so amazing. If you guys can look for it and get it, get it. Because it took me so long to find that purse. So if you guys see it in a thrift store, you're going to see it on a thrift store. I couldn't find it online. I was going to put all my coins down on it. That was pretty pricey. But I was like, it's so worth it because it's such a unique piece. So yeah. And I also got this purse for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's so cute. It's a Delta bag. It's a Delta tote. I carry it everywhere with me and inside it's pink and it says the pink boutique it's so cute and I carry my Balenciaga bag in this one and I also carry my blanket I know when people like see me they're like girl what you have so many cute things I'm like yes I'm that girl I swear if I was like telling my younger self like everything I had I would think that I'm so cool I'm like oh my gosh everything's pink everything's cute like what girl I've been looking at my hair in these videos lately and they're still looking crazy let me just push everything back you can't go wrong with that oh my gosh but wait but wait what about it this is the next one second street oh my gosh the sack bag by Marc Jacobs in white Oh my god, I just needed anything during fashion week other than my aunt's backpack because I couldn't fit it in my bag. So I went to Second Street and I was like, I just need a bag so I'm not rocking with a backpack because I was rocking with a backpack for the longest time. I was like, here you go, here's a bag. I was like, this is a backpack, auntie. And she was like, I don't have any other black bag. I was like, well, hey, thanks, thanks. And I just walked my happy ass to Second Street and this was so worth it because I wanted this bag and now I got it. I still have my my heels in here from Fashion Week. I'm screaming. Yeah, now I, I went back home. When I went back home to like put my designs down, I put everything, I took everything out of my bag so now it's freed up from space and now I'm just gonna put my bag inside my suitcase so it fits. Let's hope that it fits. I try to do like abs but I try to have weights so I can like tone my arms as well at the same time especially if I'm just running and I'm also trying to go back upstairs so I can wash my hair so there's that but this is my you know gym routine if you guys want to see something it's just quick and easy and you can do it at any gym so I was just on the treadmill for about like 10 minutes and now I'm just doing uh arms technically but i'm also interpreting core so
Being a flight attendant, I feel like I definitely have to work out as much as possible because it honestly helps. The stronger that you are, the better it's going to be on every single day basis, especially when you have so much to do. In the beginning, I thought that I couldn't interpret the gym and my schedule. I was like, oh my gosh, no, I'm so busy. But I feel like that was just an excuse. I'm like, I want to go to the gym because feeling the difference, having so much to do and interpreting the gym, I feel like you have natural energy to just get through everything. And it's not me just saying it. Like, I actually feel it, so. <laughs> my next thing that I do is my next set of this. I just do 30 of these. Like, I don't go up, I don't go down. I just do straight 30. But there's, uh, you can work out your upper core, your mid core, or your lower core, and you just have to feel it and you have to know which workout you're feeling while you're doing it. I want to work out my entire core, so I try to get my upper core, my mid core, and my lower core. I love this hairstyle for me. We need to bring this back. This was like a, a 2010 when you guys had the hump. You guys, meaning me, I had like the little hump and I would put my safety pins right there. I don't know what I thought I was doing. I mean, I thought I was onto something. I think I still am, but hey. No, I'm just kidding. But I just got out the shower and I got ready. And now I'm just blow drying my hair because I washed my hair. Obby. I got 30 minutes. 30. 30. I went in the room and I like packed up all my stuff so as soon as I'm done doing my hair I can just leave and I already ate so I don't think I'm gonna see my aunt before I go because she's still not here I don't know where she's at but I'll give her a call but let's finish this hair I use this conditioner, it's like a volumizing conditioner and strength and honey, it definitely gave that. I have to trim like my natural hair ends, but I already knew that I had to do that. But wow, it's definitely giving like volume to the tea, which I needed because it was looking like straw. I'm going in with the flat iron and I use the InfraShine flat iron. And I put my chi in like a to-go bottle. Mm -hmm. A to-go bottle, I'm screaming. I put it in a travel size container. Because I have like the big one, which is so worth it. But I'm going to use, I already used some chi before I blow dried my hair. But I'm going to use just a little bit to flat iron it. My hair needs all the strength and protection in the world. 
So I'm just going over with that again, running it through the hair. And yeah, now we're gonna flat iron my hair. So I didn't wear you say, but hopefully I will get used tomorrow. But looking at the boards, not looking like I'm gonna get used. So I'm probably just gonna go back home. But I'm okay with that. Like, hey, there's nothing I can do. Okay, so I just got percent of the time literally but this is such a nice hotel we made it it's like 3 a.m. EST okay so I just made it inside Oof. I just made it inside my room and I am so tired. It's like 11 p.m. But look, hun, I'm oh, I'm so tired. I went to the gym today, so I feel really good. I'm probably gonna go to the gym tomorrow and I'm gonna hang out later with my crew tomorrow as well. I feel like I have to wake up early because I want to get a wax so bad you know i like to be maintenance girly you know so i'm probably gonna do that when i go to layovers i like to you know get everything that i need to get done like i'm probably i don't think i'm probably gonna have time to do my nails but if i have time to go you know get my wax done and probably like get my eyebrows done that would be really super for me like that would really be great but i'm gonna show you guys the hotel room because this is so nice we gotta put that thing on it this is the bathroom it's really really nice okay this is the bathroom and this is the room Never again will I wait longer than intended to get a wax because I cried. I literally cried. That was intense. I couldn't even take out my camera to record for the rest of the time being because that was literally like insane. And what's crazy is I still gave the wax girl a tip because she was like, oh my goodness, like she was like breaking it down and explaining it to me like, you know, after a long time, the hair follicles become more stronger, and I'm just like, okay. And then she was telling me about her business, and I was like, I want to support. But at the same time, you hurt me like really, really bad. Even when I got my first ever wax, it was not that painful. So why is it that painful now? I don't know. But yeah, you guys, I wanted to show you the view. I couldn't show you the view at night. Look at the scenery though. This is amazing. This is beautiful. It's my first time ever going to Arizona. So take a look, sees. 
yeah i like arizona for the most part that i've seen i'm also gonna head down to the pool and see what it's giving uh let me order my food first because i'm gonna door dash it because i was thinking of walking over there but at the same time i'm just like let me just order the food and then walk <laughs> While I'm waiting for my food, I can actually sit and relax and watch a show. Finally home. Oh my god. I'm so happy and my brother's picking me up. Look at this. Look at my brother. Oh my gosh. The one that every woman wants. <laughs> Literally. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's yeah. Bro, I got tea. Hey guys, so I made it back home. I'm so happy. Oh my god. Uh, when I felt when I came back home, I did not feel like I was it didn't feel like real It felt like I was in a parallel universe. That was great. I don't know <laughs> Oh my gosh, cuz I've been gone for so long like I'm just around I just float so I'm trying to just get my whole life together like look Life is just life baby. Life is just life in so I'm just trying to get that together and what I'm gonna do while I'm here. I was supposed to do it while I was in Phoenix, but I was doing a red eye and I was talking to people, getting some great intel. So I met a woman in Phoenix and she used to design when she was my age and she was telling me that a great tip for me is draping. Learning to pin and drape because pin and drape is dying out. And she said that, you know, she was like, if you learn how to pin and drape, you will be golden. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's what I'm doing now. Like I know how to pin and drape, but to perfect that skill, I feel like could be very useful, especially for what I'm doing, couture, that what I want to create, it definitely makes me feel more confident in the designs that I'm going to be doing for my next season. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm also going to be sketching for my new clients. So I'm going to be doing that as well. Ugh, it's just going to be really cool. Uh, I'm just gonna be working while I'm back here and just kind of relaxing but yeah 86 it's a love and hate relationship honestly it really is I feel like I want to have my complete own space in New York City like I want to have a one-bedroom apartment to myself near the airport that's what I want you know so if I had that it would just be a love relationship I think I can do an 886 but yeah, you guys, I just came back home. I went to the mailbox. I picked up all my mail and it was like a tub, a big box of mail. I'm gonna show you guys. It was in this big box, which was really crazy. This big box. Like a lot of it was my parents and a lot of it was mine, my sisters, like a few other things. But when I tell you it was a lot, like even the guy that was at the post office was like, the note says it was a tub of mail, but it was so big that they had to send it back. The guy was like, how long have you been gone? I was like, um, like 10 days, I think. It's the stuff that they sent me. It's like, depending on how much mail that you have, but it also depends on how big your mail is. And I had boxes. So that box alone just had mail in it, just paper mail. I was like, that's kind of crazy, but hey, ho. Hey guys, so before I get into like creating, sketching, I'm like, let me just get everything together first. Let me kind of declutter the first collection before I start the next collection and then I kind of want to see take away key points that I really liked that I want to use for my next collection so I can make it make sense. A lot of things that we're doing for fashion week in February 
is we're trying to learn from our past mistakes, but we're also trying to get better as well. So we're taking key points that we like. So I'm washing like, <laughs> I'm washing everything. I'm bleaching everything, washing, bleaching, doing everything literally. So look at my eyebrows. I also need to get them done, Jesus. So that's what I'm doing today washing all the stuff and you know looking at everything and then that's when i'm kind of gonna make a decision on my sketches and see i'm like okay do i want to use more lace do i want to use more denim i got a lot of great feedback from the denim so i'm gonna stick with that but i want to add in more creative ideas to that so yeah let's take a look see let's let's take a you guys can hear the dryer going together I feel like it look at that wow look at that chemistry snap the beach crap fell inside the softener we, we love that okay well at least it's white that's all that is at least it's the white after this I'm gonna do the denim and I'll tell you guys how I'm gonna do the denim but since everything is literally everything is made by hand i never do it on cotton street like no what i do is i do it for a longer period of time in the washer so i'm doing like heavy soil and i'm doing it on delicates because like i still want to get it in there like get a good wash i feel like the hand wash is you know good but delicates is like it's right where it's at for me where i need it to be really clean and good for these specific pieces, I'm probably gonna need a hand wash. I'm gonna do hand wash. Like, I don't even know if you guys could hear me because when I tell you that was going boom, 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 boom. like literally the dryer, my dad needs to fix that. Cause dang. Took a sip of my iced coffee. Do you guys like it? Mama Coop got me this. Yeah. <sighs> Today when I woke up, I knew that it was gonna be a really long day, but I so desperately needed to sleep. I woke up at like 12 and I was like, half the day is already done, but I really needed it because I did a red eye. And when I tell you guys the six days was that dope. The six, eight, 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 six, like I said, love and hate relationship but i was so exhausted doing that red eye i was like oh i'm gonna need more sleep but now i feel well rested i made like some iced coffee and you know i'm just getting myself together but also doing the things that i need to do so i just can't forget my why the ideas I learned this in 30 under 30. The ideas will always change, but when you have your focused why, the road ahead is so much clearer. And when I was listening to that panel, a part of me just saw it, the whole experience being much easier and much clearer. Because when you're going through things, you're learning, you're doing trial and error, yes, but when someone's telling you that has succeeded, it kind of aligns and you're just like, understanding it more and you're like oh things are clicking and they're like that makes a lot of sense now so <sighs> cheers to that Prada yes baby oh I know you see mommy going through a lot too you're just following mommy yeah <laughs> Yeah, my Prada baby. I finally have her. I haven't seen her in a long time. Dang, Prada, look at your little hair. Let me fix that for you. 
when I tried to fix Prada's hair, she kind of ran. So, you know, I guess she doesn't want her hair fixed. Okay, you guys, so this is the end of my video. That's basically what I do in a week. I'm glad that you guys were able to see the hectic, the good, the bad, the planning, what's in my mind throughout the week as it's going on. And I'm going to do more of these videos, so I'll see you guys next time. Tune in next week and see what's chaos, what's enjoyment, what's everything going on the day of a flight attendant and a designer. Bye, guys. I'm talking.